Pretty much everyone I was talking to growing up was telling me to go to college. When it comes to Asian parents, it's really true. The only acknowledged professions in this world are engineer, doctor, or lawyer, and everything else. Honestly, college was not for everyone, and I came out of it with mixed feelings of wasted time and endless pressure from falling in the norm. People say good job was guaranteed at the end of it, a life of green pastures and novel living. No. Ah, ah, ah. I was stuck in a conference room and treated as an intern for a couple years, but paid well for it. It made me think, do I really have to go to college to get a good job? Without being a computer whiz or handy, can I get paid well in this modern world without a degree? And ultimately, with little to minimal effort, what I found diving into people's stories will shock you. Here's one path to success I found without a college degree. I saw a golden opportunity for you guys, for those who want a six figure income without even going to college. All you need is basically a high school diploma and basic understanding of computers and math. And with that, you can get this job and make over six figures. These steps that I'm gonna highlight for you is applicable to any state. But for me, since I live in California, I'm gonna be talking about how to get this job in California. But like I said, it's applicable to any state. And for those of you who don't know about much about California, California is a land of wildfires, traffic, avocados, and the night of the living dead. And also the land of opportunity. You guys might be thinking, California, ain't that where the tech bros are at Silicon Valley programming, CS? No, this is an app academy. I'm talking about a degree in civil engineering, but without the degree. And we're comparing engineering. Civil engineering is lowest tier. It's like the Metapod of Pokemon. EMOTIONAL damn it! When a lot of people talk about civil engineering, they often mention that it's one of the oldest professions. I, I know something that's older, but that's besides the case. All jokes aside, this job is actually challenging. It's rewarding. It's well compensated, especially for someone without a college degree. It can be as stressful and as relaxed as you want it to be. You can be working up the corporate ladder, or you can be just cruising on cruise control with no destination in sight. It's ultimately up to you. So what does a civil engineer actually do? So according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, a civil engineer basically designs, builds, and supervises infrastructure projects and systems. And the steps I'm outlining is particular for DOTs, which is Department of Transportation. You'll be a civil engineer, but with an emphasis on transportation. And for transportation, you're looking at the roadway prism. So basically roadways, bridges, pavement, things of that nature. So how do you become a civil engineer? So in order to be a civil engineer, you need a bachelor's degree in civil engineering or one of its specialties. You guys must be confused right now. Like what? I thought you said, like Trump and taxes and Hillary and her private emails, there are loopholes to this. College is helpful, but the most helpful thing I got out of college is this piece of paper. A lot of us who went to college didn't really know what we wanted to do. We threw the proverbial dart and whatever stuck, stuck. And that was our major. But for those who knew what they wanted to do, who knew that they wanted to be a doctor, engineer, a lawyer. Before we go to step one, I want to clarify. These steps are designed for people who want a career change or want something different in life and are thinking about not going to college. And this is an alternative path. Don't get me wrong, don't quit your job and bet everything on this because that's not realistic. I want you to be realistic. Once you land this job, you're set in the clear. Step one, I want you to apply for a junior engineering technician position or any CAD related position in any DOT, department of transportation or private company with civil engineering emphasis. For the California option, I want you to head to Cal Careers and look for any JET positions, junior engineering technician positions. This is a new friendly position that gets your foot in the door to become a civil engineer. All you need, like I said before, is a high school diploma and basic understanding of math. But it doesn't mean to say that you won't have stiff competition. Hardest part, I have to tell you, is landing the job as a junior engineering technician. It's not gonna be easy. There's gonna be times where you're, you're constantly applying, but once you get your foot in the door, the door really just opens wide. If you want more helpful tips on this series of applications, leave a comment or follow me on Instagram and DM me. Step two, 
Once you land yourself a CAD position, you're pretty much set for the next three years. If you're in California, if you land the jet position and then promote to the TET, that's the right course of action. Once you have that, you have three years to pass the EIT, the engineering and training exam. You have three years to take online courses, whatever you want to do, just pass the exam in three years. And also don't forget to learn as much as you can. This engineering and training exam isn't that difficult. All you have to do is study and take it seriously. You can fail multiple times. Don't worry. You have three years to finish. Step three. If you finally pass your EIT exam or engineering and training exam and have the three years of required experience as a CAD technician or a civil engineer related position, you're ready to get your EIT certificate. And with this, this is like your golden ticket and it's ensuring your ability to get a transportation engineering position at any DOT, essentially. Basically as qualified as any four-year candidate, minus all the background information, the, all the noise, you really don't need that stuff in order to be successful at this job. What you need is an open mind and the ability to learn and adapt quickly, of course. So the next step is to apply to your local DOT as a transportation engineer. This isn't gonna be quite easy. It depends on the availability of these positions. But like I said, if you had your foot in the door in any DOT, you're setting yourself up for success. Well, step four, you finally landed a job as a transportation engineer. You basically have your golden ticket. By now you should be pretty well versed in the design software, unless you went the relaxed route, as mentioned earlier. You are basically as qualified as a civil engineer straight out of college in terms of the job. I'm not talking about overall civil engineering knowledge, you're probably lacking there. But in terms of job on the job training, you're pretty much on par with a civil engineer straight out of college. I would like to say you would actually perform better than they do. It's up to you to decide if you wanna take the route and the responsibility of promoting through getting a professional engineering license. With a professional engineering license in California, you can make over 105,000 per year. And that's after six years. If you guys like this video, I hope you guys don't mind to smash the like button and subscribe for more financial tips and life hacks. Is it worth it? Let's take a look into the math. So for the college degree route, I assumed 15,000 per year in terms of debt for going to school. That's very conservative, right? I'm not accounting for cost of living. This is just paying for school. And assuming that in California, you're going to state school, $15,000 per year is reasonable. So you're looking at an overall of $60,000 in debt in four years or paying out of pocket. So by year five, you finally graduated and you started your first job at the DOT in California. And you're looking about $70,000. Um, but as you can progress, as you can see, by year 10, you can make $102,000. But as I mentioned before, if you take the relaxed route, this is your progression. But if by year six, you decide to take the professional engineering exam, your salary jumps to 105,000. So you're looking at year six, year seven, 105,000. So that's the same aspect for the non-engineering route. So we're looking at a total of $467,000 in 10 years, in a decade, essentially. So if you were gonna think about a career change and or not going to college and you're pursuing this route, for the optimal path, let's say nothing, you don't have a two year delay in finding the job you want. So the optimal path is you're gonna start as a JET, Junior Engineering Technician, and then you progress to TET. And then after your third year, you get your EIT degree and you're gonna apply for the DOT and make $70,000 a year. And then you'll have the same progression as you can see as a college degree route. But you can see how substantially different the total is, right? And 751,000, it's approximately 60% increase in the same decade. But this is the most optimal path. And let's say if we had a two year delay, let's say, oh, you couldn't find the, the, the transportation engineering position at the DOT. 
So you're looking at the same progression as a T, but then by year four, you can't find the job. You're still getting paid. You're still a drafting technician, a TET, right? So, but let's say by year seven, you finally land that job, right? You're still going to be coming out ahead because you're actually making money. You're not having to pay for school and you have, you can invest. You have so many options, but for the college degree route, you have higher chances of landing the job, but so the only potential flaw in the non-college route is when we have a significant recession. Let's say years down the line, Cal Caltrans or the DOTs close their doors because they can't hire. Like we saw in the 2008, 2009 market crash and the real estate market crash, right? So there was a hiring freeze. But currently, even though there's talks about recession, we're not at that level where hiring is freezing. Uh, according to the feds, according to the US Bureau of Labor Statistics, we're currently at a hiring frenzy. So I'm not sure if that's gonna continue in the future, but as long as we're not seeing another 2008, 2009, we should be okay. So another benefit going the non-college route is the world-class healthcare that you're gonna be receiving in those f years of working as a JET or TET. You're gonna be have access to your state's healthcare and you're gonna be insured, you're gonna be okay. And if you have family, if you have a spouse, they will also be insured, which is another bonus if you're looking for a career change, right, from your current job. But another thing is the younger you start, the better it is for your pension. So some DOTs have pension. In the state of California, we have CalPERS, which is the California Retirement Pension System, which is basically a guarantee on retirement. So they'll take a certain percentage of your salary and they'll invest it. And it's a guarantee. So let's say if I retire at 62, right? And then I serve 25 years in service, I'll get to retain 50% of my salary in perpetuity until, until I'm dead, essentially. You'll be able to be receive payments of 50% of your salary in per- I truly believe that college isn't for everyone. It wasn't designed to be for everyone. And whether you go to college or not go to college, it shouldn't define who you are. Work should never define who you are. It's a means to survive this cruel world. And that's about it. Whatever you do, it doesn't matter. Work should only provide you the means to do what you really want to do. Whether it be watching anime or making stupid YouTube videos for the masses. Your job shouldn't have to be your passion. It's just a means to find your passion. And for those who took my advice into account and applied to, for these jobs, you won't be disappointed. You'll have a future career and a pretty damn good job. If you like what I say, please like and subscribe for more financial tips and life hacks. If I get a thousand likes, I won't eat this dog. Are you worried?